Hallelujah. Good morning. Lift your hands. Let's pray in tongues for two seconds. Amos, come to me if you're here. of serving you anoint us and teach us Holy Spirit in Jesus name we pray Amen you may be seated hi guys what a blessing did you sleep well did you eat well is that my class tell you how I see you chill wow now Today we're going to move on to visitation. And then our point, we're going to break into smaller groups also. Um, so what do you think? Beautiful. Visitation. Jeremiah chapter 23. Verse 2. Therefore, saith the Lord of God of Israel, against against the pastors. That's serious. For God, <laughs> for God to speak against you. The pastors that feed, they preach. So this is uh, Pastor Nathan. You're welcome. This is against teaching pastors. Okay? You are trying to make my message theoretical. How many of you here today, Bishop, stand up again. Bishop, stand up again and face your congregation. Now, how many of you here, including myself and Pat, have been blessed by a message a bishop preached before? Like he went for a service and the bishop preached, it really blessed you. Raise your hand, your right hand. It's blessed you. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, oh, you guys, when I say lift your hand, I can't see when you do this, so you have to lift your hand properly. Yeah. Wow. Mondi, has any bishop here blessed you before? What message was that? Um, I don't remember the title of the message, but oh, apostle. Charlie, you know, it's also, what were they sharing about? Your, um, you shared. Um, oh, not me, not me, not me. Please. You've been blessed. Help, thank you. Sharing on um, the anointed and his anointing. Beautiful. Yes, and he was talking about the field. Wow. That you have to give up everything for the field. You wow. Full of how you have to adjust. He was wearing two different legs of shoes. How to f- follow you somewhere. I, mean, I, was, I was really blessed by that. Wow. He has never visited me. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't come to that. Eh? Oh. H- how many of you have been blessed? Been blessed by a bishop? Oh, please wave at me. I want to ask some questions. Yes, Darlington. Which one of them? Bishop Potassium. Yes. When I was here in school, um, um, and a casual life. Yes. What did he preach about? He was ministering about the, the presence of God. Wow. These are teaching bishops. <laughs> Look at it. Against the pastors that feed, they feed. They are preachers. Who else? You've been blessed. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, sorry. Um, Bishop G. Bishop G. Yes, I was in the service. At- <laughs> yes. He was preaching about how we should fight to be in the will of God. Fight! 
Yes, we should fight to serve God. To serve. We should also fight to know the plan God has for our life. Wow. Is it, it's a fight to be. <laughs> yes, who else? Who, who has been blessed by Bishop Iceberg? Who has been blessed by Bishop Iceberg? Yes, but be here, come and share with me. Yes, you raise your hand, come. You've also been blessed, stand up, come. Oh, come, come quickly. I'm interested, teaching bishops. Yes. Yes. Don't worry, just... Um, I remember this one time, Bishop Iceberg preached about working for God and how working for God makes you a star in the mix of people. Wow. You shine. Did he say whatever many means to you? Did he say that? You turn many to righteousness. Or he didn't say that, but he did. Yeah. And all. Wow. If you want, you have to become a star because when the right time comes, plenty of people will be rushing to you. A teaching the pastors that feed. Feeding pastors. Wow. Where's BL? I, I, I called you. Come. It's exciting. Feed the pastors that feed. Not every pastor feeds. So this particular message was for pastors who teach. Yes. So it was uh, Pasanta um, ministers meeting. And it was about wow. prayer. Minister. <laughs> prayer. And he was talking about it from Matthew chapter 26. Matthew 26. But emphasis was on after Jesus had come back to his disciples and he came to meet them sleeping. Just sleep on. Wow. Rest for the time. So that he was saying that at certain times of the day, your prayer is ineffective. You need to pray. Your prayer is ineffective. The decisions that have been taken in the spirit. You cannot avert them. So you suggest- wow. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Wow. Sleep on. Sleep on. <laughs> the pastors. The pastors that. Now I've started with the bishop so that we can. You cannot say that. Uh, how many of you have been blessed? I was preaching. You were blessed before. Before. Ever before. Uh, so I accept. I'm also part. Okay. So now bishops can sit down. Oh, there's no problem. Good. Good. Now choir pastors. Oh, quite past the standard face your congregation. Have you been blessed? Hmm? Oh, that's even another discussion. <laughs> yes, who has been taught by LP Zoe before? She taught something. Oh, raise your hand. Yes, my dear, come, come and talk to me. Yes, what were you fed? about um, how Solomon when he was given people to take care of us and when he became king um, he had to pray. When he was praying he didn't ask for anything but he was asking for wisdom and that um, God added all the other riches and everything. So she was telling us that some of us have, are new in this work and everything but we should pray for wisdom. That's the main mm. thing that will guide us. Mm. <laughs> I'm blessed! I'm blessed! The pastors that feed my people against so if you are here and you are a pastor that feeds this message is directed at you God says so you look at it you have scattered the church yes yes as you were preaching or you be not me not as you've been as I've been yes the pastors feeding feeding bishops and feeding pastors jelly. Uh, the church is scattered. Why? Why is the church scattered? They've also been driven away, driving away pastors, and have not visited them. Now, this is the beautiful part. If you won't go on visitation, God says, I will visit you. Look at it. I will, uh, you can't go, I'll come. That's what God is saying. I will visit upon you the evil of your doings. So it's evil now. How many of you would like me to come and visit you in your house? How many of you like me? Yes. Look at that. If I was like Jesus, when someone desires of you to come and visit, I will go. Now, I don't even want to ask how many of you have I visited. I'll be sad. I'll be depressed. Yes. We, I think we already went through that. Yesterday we didn't go through that. About visitation. We did. Okay, yes. It's quite sad. I don't want to ask that question. 
I don't want to ask how many people's houses Zoe has been to. No Zoom calls, no visitation. God should forgive us. Feeding but not visiting. You drive the people away. Mm, and have not visited them. So, God says, you can't go on visitation. You can't go on visitation. Many of us, God has been visiting upon us the evil of what we are doing. So, visitation is not an option. For pastoral ministry, it's not an option. You see, before we go into what to do on a visitation, it's like even to even attempt. Yeah. You'll be surprised. If you like, take this pastor. Where's Pastor Jeremy? Stand up. How many church members do you have? Ask him how many church members do you have. How many? Yes. yes. How many church members do you have? 26. <laughs> this, this, uh, no problem. We accept 26. Don't you think that if you have 26 members, you should have visited all of them? 26. For how long? How long have you been passing that church? A year. A little less than a year. A little. Oh, please. Be serious. <laughs> it's a year. It's a year you've been passing that church. Don't you think that by now, one year, 26 members? Mm-hmm. It's just uh, twice. You have visited them twice. Yes. 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 Then yes. you'll be surprised. How many leaders do you have? Sixteen. Sixteen. Do you, do you live near Legon or is, is it a journey? It's not far. Do you have a car? God give you a car. By the grace of God. Yes. Uh, I'm going on visitation. No? Bitazoo. Should we go into it? Or should it? Sit down, sit down, sit down. So, it's important for all of us. You know, it shows maturity. Visitation is actually a son. The Bible says in Acts chapter 7 that when Joseph matured, became 40 years old. It came into his heart to visit his brethren. So when you mature, you start realizing that, you know, we can't always be calling meetings. Visitation is when you leave the pulpit and you leave the church and you go to somebody's house to look for the person. That's visitation. I've come here to look for you. Now I want to say something. Awkwardness. Awkwardness is part of visitation. Yes. It's, it's a part of, yes. It's awkwardness. It's a part of it, like, ah, why are you here? Because you understand, like, yes, it's an unexpected, it's part of it. And if you don't master the art of overcoming that, ah, especially first timers. You see, if you visit the leader, he knows that visitation is happening. This is the social segment. We are about to go into the word. <laughs> That's it. Yes. I'm sure we'll pray at a point. But the reason why a lot of people cannot visit because they don't, they don't, the skill, the skill of a shepherd to overcome the awkwardness part of it. Ah, I just came to your church twice. Is there a problem? Why, have you, why, why do you want to know my house? First of all, even, even on the phone. Why do you want to know my house? Yeah, because you're not a skilled shepherd. Hello, hi. Please, we want to visit you. No, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. That's why Jesus told Zacchaeus, I must abide at your house today. He didn't say, I'm coming to visit you. When I come, I'll really transform your life. I've come as a pastor. I have to come and see you. So even the, 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 your inability to overcome the awkwardness and all gifts of the spirit and all gifts of ministry are only sharpened by reason of use. Yes, in Hebrews 5, the scripture says that um, uh, a strong meat belongs to those who, who by reason of use have their senses exercised. So ministry and spirit senses are exercised by use. 
know when 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 Menin came to the Kodesh, he said that it's a pastor's conference, so should he heal tonight? Oh, should he? Do you understand the question? Yes, like can he can he just heal? Can he pray for the sick? That's the question that he asked. I was shocked. I thought that like you have to prepare. This is healing. I think there should be some no no no. It's exercise. It's about the sick. You solve it, no problem. Or one day I went to prophet to preach, he was going to preach at somebody's church, and in the car he he asked the when we got out of the car, so he asked the pastor, What should I preach about? Is there anything you want me to preach about? Like you mentioned, we're about one thirty minutes away <laughs> from the sermon. You get it? Uh, you would have prepared for six months that this is the message. No one should change it. <laughs> Don't try and change it. This is the message. Yes. Look, I can show you an ISI. He declared the theme. I can show you an ISI and so to. He declared the theme. Church, the theme, sorry. Church planting, session one. So he started to talk about church planting. Then, in the middle of the first session, he changed his mind. He started preaching the anointed and anointed. The whole, the whole camp. Ready for both. Church planter or the anointed is anointed. You, you don't have your senses exercised. Oh, you're not with me. But when your senses are exercised in any part of the mission. Now, because we don't like that part of the mission, we don't like visitation. It's so humble and so slow. And it attends to such few people. So we don't want to exercise our senses. So you think that where you think that oh in Legon, in Legon, people don't like it when you come to that. No, it's not Legon, no. Trust me. I've done visitation in different places. It's always the same. Why have you come here? Are you following me? <laughs> are you st- are you a stalker? <laughs> like, yes, these are words I've heard before. Are you a stalker? Yeah, I've passed that state a long time ago. Like you I can't enter your house. I'll never even use the word visit. Or even mention your house. I'll never even bring up your house. I need to see you. I wanted to see you. Where have you been? You know, whenever we are in church, we don't really get to talk. We have to, we have to talk properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I even say that. So you can come to my place or I'll come to your place. And we talk. Where do you live? Ah, wow. Where do you live? It's a skill. You can't say, Hi, please, we are visiting you today. We are doing visitation. We wanted your address. <laughs> no. You know, I said that. Either, either you come to my house or you come to the Either I come to because in church we can't really talk. Oh, this is something I would like to sit down and talk to you about. Where do you live again? Which area? North Kanishi. Okay. Hey, North Kanishi is far. Mm, okay. But I would like to, I'll come to your house. I'll come to your house and we'll talk. Yeah, we can sit in front of your house and talk. And, and I'll say, if I'm in North Kanishi, I'll call you. If I'm ever in the area, I'll call you. Yeah. Without, uh, you get a phone call from me. Yeah, I realized I'll be in North Kanishi today. Well, you be around too. Yeah, 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 I'll be, I'll be in the area. So I'll come, I'll come by. Yeah, you come, I'll come, I'll come. I just want to talk. You know what? What we started talking about on Sunday. I want to, I, want to, I really want to finish. I want to finish with you. Yeah, but you say, see, they have given us a list of people to visit so that we can show love in the church. <laughs> we want to show love. <laughs> we want to show love. We are coming to visit you from the first love of this. I'm calling for the first love. I'm from CC3. We are looking for you. <laughs> there's, no, there's no finesse. There's nothing. Because you don't do it often. I don't know how to enter a, a, a church member's house. Oh. So, even sometimes I'll say, that, you know what? I have a book for you. I'll bring it to your house. Oh, I'll bring it to your house. I'll bring it. Where do you live? Where do you live? Tessa. Sometimes I even say, like, if your house is close enough, I can even deliver it myself. Where do you live? Tessa. Oh, Tessa, no, there's not far at all. Tessa, no, it's not far at all. I'll come from the office. I'll come. It's not far. It's on my way. I tell you that I work at two places, Kodesh and First now. So on my way, I always drive through Tessa. I'll, I'll pass by. Don't worry. It's cool, crap. You see, but because no, but skill is not developed by listening to teaching. No, no matter how many teachings, yes, no matter how many teachings you have, you have to use it. The more you use it, the more the more it comes. Every ministry skill is like that. The more you use it, the more it comes. The more you use it, the more it comes. So awkwardness, how to overcome that initial? Ah. 
Why, why are you here again? The Nigerians have come again. You know what they say? The Nigerians have never heard this one before. But you see, like, like even, like even, uh, no. But you see, you because you are Nigerian. But me, they say Ghanaians have come again. They say every. I've heard every every excuse on earth about visitation. Every bad thing. These church people, they follow you even to the house. First love people. They don't leave you alone. Mm. And even how you visit, you've gone to somebody's room. Jesus didn't go to Zacchaeus' house to know. He told him, I'll come to your house. He gave him forward notice, I'll come. So that he can prepare. Because as you are knocking, she has to stop what she's doing. And he's also not happy. <laughs> yeah, the man of the house is not happy. <laughs> with what you are doing. Oh, you're not with me? Yeah. But because we don't do it, because we don't do it, it seems like something that it's not even a practical thing. We don't believe in it. But I'm telling you, visitation is one of the main things you can ever do to solidify a member. Yeah. Visiting, 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 visiting. So, let's go into a few points about visitation and then we will break into our smaller groups, I think then we'll go home at a point. Hmm? Oh, are you there? Are you going home? Okay. Now, Zechariah 11, verse 15. And the Lord said unto me, Zechariah 11, verse 15. The Lord said, Take unto thee the instruments of a foolish shepherd a foolish shepherd has particular instruments that he uses a fool only look for a stupid shepherd i'm not i'm just quoting the scripture a stupid everybody says stupid, stupid. shepherd what are his instruments like what are the things he does that shows you that he's a foolish shepherd he has instruments next I will raise up a shepherd. That is the curse that God sends to Israel. I will raise up a shepherd in the land who doesn't visit those who are cut off. He starts to give the people who are supposed to be visited or looked for by the shepherd. Uh, but God says, you people, you will see. You will see. When a curse is cursed, when a church is cursed, sorry, God will raise up shepherds who they don't visit. When, when you get when you are cut off see when you now let me let me also talk about this for a second this is a side note to you leaders now don't also tell us that now you are sick no one minds you to stop coming to church see this is what shepherds say no one minds you when you are in church they didn't mind me whatever then when i stop coming they just want a big church that church so then they don't look for me until i stop coming to church then they'll all come and look for me and so on it's biblical because the Bible says you leave the 99 to look for the one who didn't come but if you are one of the 99 why should we look for you <laughs> you're already in test you're already around you are here how can we be looking through the 99 it's biblical but when you make when you feel like get lost now then we will all come and look for you you get what I'm saying so don't, as a side no, no one should ever be offended that you are sick no one came to look for you no, 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 no. Until you get lost. You are one of the 99 in the church, please. Just be around, okay? All right, now let's go back to our scripture. Now, it says, Neither will they seek the young one. They don't visit children. Mm, they like to bash children. But they don't believe in visiting them. Yes. They like to top up with... <laughs> top up with young ones. <laughs> But they don't visit the young ones. <laughs> they don't heal broken people. Broken in their souls. Broken in their hearts. Changed. Then, those who are standing still, these are members, they come to church, but they are not moving forward. I have one member, he has never moved forward since I met him. I've tried everything. He's no, he can't marry, can't get a beloved, can't get a job. 
can't and I said I can't do anything. Yes, I told you now. I'm sure he's asleep now as we are speaking. He can't move. Spoken to him. Uh, one day he even said, stood up and said that he's, he feels cursed. Yes. So it's like we should help to overcome the cat. But whatever you say, you know it. Yes, there's nothing you can say that you do. I said breathe. If you say breathe, you breathe. That one did. He did. He needs a visit. I have to sit in his house and talk to him because he's standing still. But he shall eat the flesh of the fat. The fat is the nice part of the meat. So he will enjoy the nice part of membership. Whatever it is, he will enjoy it. And then tear their claws in pieces. Just destroy it. So I want to give you some reasons why you must visit. Number one is because every member deserves a visit. Right. Ah, you're not writing. Okay, you don't have to write. Every member does what? Yeah. Deserves. It's what they deserve. Everybody here deserves to be visited by a pastor. Yeah, Monday, you deserve a pastoral visit here in your house in Dansuman. Your house in Dansuman, no? Yes. You deserve somebody to drive to Dansuman to sit in your house. Pastor Kenny, you deserve it. You deserve someone to come and sit with you and your wife and your new baby and talk to the three of four. How many are you now? Four in the house. Three in the house, yes. Three, three of you. He deserves that. People, you deserve it. <laughs> you deserve it. Hillary, you deserve someone to come to the house to talk to you, your husband and Wesley, all the three of you. And talk to you and pray for you. Deserve. It's what should happen. It's only right. It's true. Yeah, but you have visited you before, so you can't say that. Mm. I just thought about it. Michaelis, you deserve. You deserve somebody to sit in your house with your wife and and talk to you. Mm. A bishop should come to your house. Yes. Pardon? And prophesy to the unborn child. <laughs> yeah. A faithful man in the church. Every time he's coming to church serving God. Won't you go and sit in the sitting room? Think of all your members and what they deserve from you. Pastor G, your pastors, they deserve her. They should have had a visit from you by now. Every member needs a visit. Different. Different to deserve something, different to need it. You get it? You need it, like without it, you die. Sometimes you don't deserve something, but you need it. Hmm? It's like after how you've misbehaved at home. You don't deserve your mother to give you food. But Charlie, you need it. Yes. Yes. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? Hey, without you, you, what do you do? So that's why even though you are bored with your mother, you go and ask for money. With please. Because what are you going to do? You need it. Every, no, you have to believe as a pastor that every member needs you to come to their house. Whether they realize it or not. In a film, that's what happens before Bumo. <laughs> when I hear such this. It's the, and that's when it's the last 10 seconds. <laughs> Uh, yeah oh you don't like my message I just want you to think of your pastor I think of your people not that not that they deserve for you to visit for them to visit you before you realize as a pastor the people are there visiting oh yes who come to your house they say lost ones well I wanted to pass to. <laughs> they will be calling you. I wanted to pass to a check on you, Pastor. Oh, it's not right. Yeah. So, every church member deserves a visit. Sometimes, because of the nature of my church members' lives and where they stay, 
at that time, few of our members were even married or were staying there. Most people stayed with their parents. So I used to just drive to the house and talk to them in front of the house. Because that's the best I can do. Because when we go inside, the mother would greet some and serve water and then join you. <laughs> yes, sir, the point. Realize that you can only discuss politics because the way it is. <laughs> because, yes, to start, to start bringing up her breakup when her mother is there. So I used to drive, I will drive, so I will just have to go and drop my church member so that I can stand in front of the person's house and just talk to the person. Yeah. Every member needs you to come there. You know, pastors should think about how they relate to Jesus. All of us have this prayer that one day you'll be in your study and then Jesus will appear to you. And come. You need it. You need it. Yeah. And that's your prayer. That's how they're also standing somewhere and praying. Oh, Lord, don't you like if I came to your house? Me and you. I've come to see you. Oh. It's even the right thing. Mm-hmm. Without it, you start to notice church members falling away. Slowly. Slowly. There's no personal connection. There's no personal connection. One of my members once told me that they are leaving the church. I said, okay. No problem. You leave. Then I said, come. I'm calling for you. Come. And she came. And I said, there's another meeting next Sunday. She came again. So there's another meeting. I've been to her house. I parked in front of her house and we visited her. I spoke to her for two hours in the car. Just as me, another pastor, and me. And her. And I spoke to her in my car. Ah. So it's not easy to say, I'm going. Hmm. Number four or three. Every church member expects. Expectation of the righteous should not be cut off. How many of you expect a bishop to one day come to us? You've been expecting that, I mean, at some point. Raise your hand, wave at the bishop, wave at us. Yes, yes. 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 Peter Zuba, well, you not expect a visit, but I came to your apartment. I came to visit you. Yes. And I released a blessing. I came to see children, wife, Peter, everybody. I came there myself. I drove to Mampo to come and visit them by myself. I came here to come and look for them. I didn't come to preach. I came on visitation here in Mampo. Only I didn't visit Potassium. So I came here on visitation. Hmm. They expect it. As they've not said, Nathan, you're not expecting me in your house. Be honest. Be honest. I have been to your house twice. Ah, yes, yeah, true. You see now, I'm not bad. Yes. How many of you, honestly, honestly, you have been looking at the pastor like, ah. When, like, be honest. It's okay. It's, it's, it's okay. It's fine. Just with the ah. Abigail, have you not been looking at me all these years? So I've come to preach in your church, but I haven't come to your house. That's not the right thing. This year, don't worry. They said, ah, ah, from next week, I'll be on the station. Okay? God has spoken to me. Hmm. Number four. The more visits a sheep has, the more healthy it will be. The more what? A sheep has, the more healthy it will be. If I take myself, one day I was home, I saw that Bishop Boko and Aunt Erica have come to visit me in my, in my house. One. They came, the two of them again, they came to visit me in my school. Yeah. Which Boko even slapped me when he came to visit me. Yes. The only time in my life I've ever been slapped in my whole life. One, I've only a chop slap, only one. Yes. Because as he was talking, I was, you know, my friends were around the this, I was going to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Before I realized, fwam! <laughs> yeah. I remember my pastor, uh, Reverend Clement, came to visit me a number of times. At least, at least 10 times he has visited me. Yes. You come and sit with me in my sitting room. Just me and him. We'll talk. Uh, I remember 
Bishop Richard came to visit me. My house. I was there and I had the horn outside. He's come to pick me. He's come to see me. I wasn't sure that I've done something wrong. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I wasn't sure what's going on. Yeah, he put me in his car. Drove me uh, overcoming the awkwardness. Visitations. That's why I'll be healthy. The, the more visit somebody has, the more healthy he is. All unhealthy members, the more they are visited, the more, more visits, more visits, more visits, more. This one has come, this one has come. He came again, he came again, he came again, he came again. The person becomes healthy. Without that, there's a certain lack of health. Money, so if you are not feeling well, you are not healthy, it's because how many people who has visited you from the church before? No, say it again. Nobody. Nobody. Will you say that your time here has been healthy? <laughs> <At all. laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's this not well. There's something not well. Yes. Monday, who is your bishop? Confess. Is that the word? For sure, just sure. <laughs> no, I'm the one. Yes, I take responsibility. I have to go to Monday's house. Hmm? Hey, don't I owe you a visit? I owe you a visit, yes. I've been telling you I'm coming for three months. People have not visited you all these years. Give me. <laughs> My Christ, I have to come to your house. The fact that I've not been to your house is serious. It's serious. It's serious. My Christ, who has visited you from this church? Debo. Debo. Yemi. Yemi. Oh. Who else? LPIV. LPIV. No. Oh. I'm going to tell her. I thought she has visited you. Yes, I have to go to Michael's house. How can it be? I've not been to Michael's house. It will not be healthy. It will not be healthy. Nathan, who has visited you from this church before? Apart from me. And who else? Bishop Frank. Bishop Frank, and who else? And, um... Oh. <laughs> Sister, Sister Erica. Sister Erica. Sister, um, Viva. Sister Viva. And, um, yeah. That's it. Pastor Paul has not come. All these years, he's not done well. Yes, but you see now, he's been visited by four solid pastors. Solid, yes, he's different. He'll be a different person. A pastor Paul, he will you not know, expect at some point? At some point, no, <laughs> I've never, I, I, I don't expect it that much. You don't expect it, uh, I don't expect it. Do you need it? Point. Yes, but I need it. <laughs> It's not easy. Oh. Healthy church members are members who have been visited a lot. Never say I visit this one too much. No, no, no. Go, 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 go. It's good. It's good. Media, when I think of this, teacher, I think of Jonathan Langdon. I have to go to his house. It's on my mind every day. I've not been to his house. And I know his wife is lying in her bed thinking, hey. So he won't come. Is that how it is? When we don't come to church one Sunday, they'll call us. I've been waiting here week after week. You will not come. Yes, so I'm going. I'll be there. You be there and be saying forgive. You yourself. A visit makes a sheep a permanent member. Are you alive or are you going home? Do you have permanent members? Do you have permanent members? Or you have wishy-washy uh, dancing star, stand up. I can see. I'm uh, trying to aim us come. They are trying to make my message theoretical. Oh, dancing star, stand up. Yes. Yes. Dancing stars. Pastors, come and stand here. Oh, pastors. Eh? Oh, you know pastors. Are you shy? Don't be shy of your calling. Hmm? Yes. Because every time I feel a theoretical nature come into my Yes. Now, how many of you have been visited by one of these four beautiful pastors? Raise your hand. Okay, sit down. Sit down if you've been visited. Good. Yeah. Double up. They've not come. <laughs> How come? 
my dear in the blue what's your name in the blue and white yes amanda you've not been visited pastor who which pastor sammy ah sammy okay we'll come to sit down we'll accept it yes who else who else what's your name Huh? no law have you been visited by any of these? You are a new dancing star. You are not likely to become an old dancing star if they don't visit you. <laughs> you, you see, I, don't, I don't know which high preaching we want to hear. Go to the house. Dear pastor, go there. Go there. Don't tell me it's difficult. It's awkward. Where I am, they don't like that. Where I am, people don't like No one likes it when people come to their house. No one is used to it, but it's something. It's really something. I know a pastor at the very last year, the only thing he does is He doesn't do VCI, he just V. <laughs> no, that's all. Like, when on, 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 you finish preaching on Sunday, the services start on Friday night. He doesn't have midweek because of the traffic in the city. Friday night, Saturday night, four services on Sunday. That's his weekend. Then on, on Monday, they have the day off. Then on Tuesday, every pastor gets his visitation list for the week. That's, just do that. When you go, you pray over the people, you do this, you share, whatever. It took you the whole day to finish visiting. That's, that's their work. So they visit, I think every week they visit 5,000 people. That's the full time staff work. Yes. Every week, 5,000. That's all they do. They don't believe in anything else. They don't believe in all your meetings and your things. No, no. Visit. So they have a lot of full-time pastors for visitation only. Yeah. Going to the houses to speak to the people, pray for them, meet them. You see the pastor, huge pastor, very, very big pastor, famous pastor. You see, he wears a little leather bag and he walks in the city. A poor country. You meet, you meet him in the poorest part. He doesn't have security, nothing. Just walking there, looking for the people. That's a real pastor. Look at you. Now, do they look stable to you? Hey, let me see. Sit down. Ah, they've not visited you. It's not true. It's not true. Stop it. Oh, Gabby. Oh. Gabby, stop that. Hillary has been to your house. Ah. Oh. Debo and Yemi have never come to your house before. It's not true. It's not true. You've forgotten about it. Try and remember. Try and remember. Oh. No, it's serious. So our things are serious. The instruments of a very foolish shepherd. And it's like, look, we have service once a week. Then what? Then what are we doing? That's why I said VC3 should be serious about the job of new people. But what about the old people? That one, it belongs to the, all of us. All of us must take it up as the instruments of a wise shepherd is the one who visits. My dear, what's your name? Yes, you, you. Uh huh. Huh? Ira Selman. Are you related to Joshua Selman? No, you are not. Because he has a friend on campus. You should find him. Joshua Selman. He's a good friend. Yes. You know her? No. She's not likely to be stable. She's not likely to be stable. She will become stable if Hillary goes, then Yemi goes, then Debo goes, then Hillary goes again. Don't you think so? God expects every pastor to visit the ship. It's a, it's a humbling thought that God, Iceberg was expecting you. Uh, Iceberg, God was expecting you, sorry, to visit the ship in Accra one by one. He was expecting it of you. Not to call them to service. That's not visitation. Going to someone's room to help them get ready and come for church is not visitation. It can never be. Visitation is the reason I came here to sit in your room with you, that's all. Every ship needs a repeated visit from the same pastor. Dancing stars, if you've only been visited once, stand up again. If they only came once, stand up again. Ah, they only came once. Every sheep needs visits from other pastors and shepherds. Yes. 
The sin of neglect is the failure to visit. The sin of what? Totally neglecting a sheep is a sin of abandonment. You've abandoned the person to Satan and to devils. So, Bishop Paul, how many people have you abandoned to Satan? You can write down a list. Eloma Fetty, how long have you been abandoning sheep to the elements? Hmm. Number 11, many of the sheep will fall away without visitation. Many of the sheep will fall away without visitation. You know, sit down. The church will not go without visitation. These are 12 important points. The church will not go without. You know, I remember driving to, I I wish she was here. I had a church member called Melissa. She made me because of her where she stayed. You see? So when I come to church, when I come to church, she told me that she came from Amsterdam. And one day I made the mistake of saying that, hey, but your house is far off. And she told me, yes, and I come from there every Sunday. Yes, and she was 100% right. Yes. So I, I got a car, me and Pastor Micah, and we drove for about, it took us about two and a half, about two and a half hours. Yes. She lives in some farm place in another country from where I was. Well, yeah. she's in church. I can show you on Sunday, she told you. I drove to the place to go and sit in a sitting room to visit her. It is not a small place. Very far. Very far. Because if I don't visit her, I have abandoned her. Who have you abandoned, friend? Hmm? If we sit down in our rooms in the night and start writing a list of people we should have been visiting, it will, be, it will be very sad. So anyway, I hope you are understanding visitation. Oh, you're not there? 